What's going on guys? So today I am out here at the Elkhart Dealer Show. This is the Forest River Expo. Tons of brand new 2024 Forest River products out here. And we're gonna take a look at this absolutely insane new floor plan from the folks over at Riverstone. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that Riverstone is one of my favorite brands. They build it right. They do a lot of great construction perks that the industry simply doesn't see very often. Three inch thick sidewalls, um, very, very, very customized frame to how they build. It's a very unique frame when you compare it to almost any other Forest River product. But more importantly, they do a lot of things in a, a quality fashion that I think a lot of people expect when they're looking for a premium luxury fifth wheel. That said, we're going to take a closer look at this Riverstone Legacy and the hidden room up front here, which is going to blow you away. Hang tight. I'll be right back. So we're gonna start by taking a look at the numbers on this unit. So this is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 23,815 pounds. This is a heavy bad boy. This is really only gonna be for a modern dually pickup truck with the proper amount of payload capacity, which is really gonna be a truck that probably has roughly 5,000 plus pounds worth of payload capacity. Dry weight of 19,157 pounds. So it's, he it's heavy even when empty. Total length, 45 feet, two inches. Cargo capacity, 4,582 pounds. So yeah, again, even when empty, this thing's really heavy. 17.5 inch H rated tires, triple axle unit. All right, first of all, full body paint, absolutely love it. They paint the sidewalls here, even though the stripes don't follow through, but it is fully painted. So you have the painted outside as well as the painted sides. All right, coming up the more I'd step above steps into this Riverstone Legacy 425 FO. This is going to be such a cool floor plan. I know some folks film this at Hershey, but there's a hidden feature that this floor plan has that's going to kind of blow you away. So first of all, we're going to come into the kitchen area. Back here is going to be the bedroom. We'll kind of end up in there. I want to show you the kitchen first, then we'll work our way up to the front. It has the Insignia residential style stove oven, which is really, really nice. This is becoming more and more popular in all sorts of fifth wheels. It's not just being seen in super high-end RVs anymore. Very nice solid wood cabinetry. You have a convection Samsung residential microwave in here as well. Beautiful Corian solid surface countertops. Absolutely love the way they do things here. It's just very residential. They set these things up in a way that really make you feel as if you're like in a custom condo versus your traditional travel trailer or fifth wheel. I love the wood tones too. It's more of a neutral. It's it's a color you don't really see in the RV industry, but this one's actually nice. I'd love to know your opinion on this. Lots of drawers. You know me, I love RVs with drawers. Soft closing drawers. Oh, that's nice. Got a spot for your trash right there. You have a dishwasher down here. Nice little area up here. And I'm pretty sure all of this stuff is gonna be soft closing. I love this. I mean, features you really only are gonna see in premium RVs, and they're all soft closing. Soft closing cabinetry as well. Very nice. Over here we have our Samsung French door residential refrigerator. Got it stocked up with water. You have to pay this area a visit a little bit later. You have our freestanding-ish style dinette. This actually pulls out so you can fit two more chairs here if you'd like. All dual pane windows. Beautiful valances. Day-night roller shades. All right, so we're gonna work our way up to this area right here. So, front living room, right? You got your two opposing love seats. They're kind of a little larger than your traditional love seat, but it's kind of a love seat. You have your theater seating right here. Check out the ceiling. I mean, when I say the folks at Riverstone do it differently, they really do things differently. The color tones, the crown molding, the infinity light right there. This is just absolutely beautiful inside. The way they do their valances, I mean, it's just really nice, especially considering they're not your traditional valances. They look a lot nicer, more customized. But what we're looking at is right here. This is really cool, isn't it? Very, very nice TV setup. Love the backing right here, but there's a hidden secret. Let me show you what it is. This handle pulls, and check this out. Yep. This has a hidden office up front, and it's a very functional hidden office. You got windows all around, including the front windshield. You have a desk right here as well. 
you have this cool little spot that passes through. So from the outside here, you can actually open this up. It's a great way to get your coffee into this space. What do you think? This is super, super cool. All soft closing cabinetry. You have your travel fly up here as well. This is so, so cool and very unique. And then it's covered up with the TV, which has a strut assist right here when, whenever you want some privacy. So the cool aspect about this isn't just the fact that it has this room. It's the fact that if you are working while you are on the road, and let's say you have your family out here and they're watching the game or they're cooking something and they're making noise, you can go into this area and you can work in a relatively concealed, quiet space. I love that. That is so cool. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below about that, please. All right, let's work our way towards the back. I absolutely love this. Very, very nice. Great place to hang your stuff up. You have your touch screen here that controls pretty much everything in the RV. Your Truma AquaGo on-demand hot water system. Stepping up here. All right, let's take a look at the restroom area. Absolutely beautiful. Porcelain foot flush toilet. You have your towel holder over there. This is beautiful. That's your drain down here. But check this surround out. This is absolutely gorgeous. It just really stands out. Makes you feel like you're in an incredibly high-end luxury RV, which you are. Here's your sink. Medicine cabinet right here. Got your drawers. Again, they're all soft closing. Your cabinets. They all use these really, really strong magnets to hold stuff. That's why sometimes they're a little hard to open. More storage here for towels and toiletries. Very nice. And it has very good ceiling heights in here. You could easily be upwards of probably six, seven and fit comfortably inside. And because the shower pan is pretty much flush with the floor, you don't have to worry about stepping up into the shower whenever you hop in. All right, moving on into the bedroom. King size bed, a lot of room, really nice sliding door here if you want to close it up and get some privacy. You have your two valances on the side here. Nice end tables. I love seeing end tables like this. Very functional end tables. You probably have enough room for a CPAP on that one. You're going to have power here as well as USB. Plus you have some storage. Over here is going to be your Splendid washer and dryer. I love how they put this separator between the two. That way they're not just attached to each other and vibrating anytime you're drying clothes or you're washing clothes. So this gives you some isolation and it also makes them run more efficiently so they don't shake up the whole coach. You have your TV over here ready in place. Beautiful, beautiful kind of buffet area. Wardrobe looks great in this unit. Lots of drawers, lots of place to store stuff. And then you have a nice closet over here as well. So the closet has motion detection lighting. Nice hanging rod. You have your Dyson vacuum in here also. And then you have some more, more drawers right here. Again, all beautifully done. They just do a really, really good job with these. Riverstone units. Even more storage up here. What do you guys think? So a lot of reasons why you may like a Riverstone aside from just how beautiful it is and the materials that they use. They do other things right and I'm going to show you some of that when we step outside. Okay so we're going to start up front and kind of work our way around. We have the Kurt Rotaflex pin box up front here. You can see the rubber bushing right here which essentially helps dampen shock from the truck to the trailer, trailer to the truck. You're going to have your Lippert six point auto leveling system on here as well. Inside here, you have two 40 pound propane cans, which is really nice. Something else I wanna show you also, if you look under this pass-through, this is actually really special what they do. If you look right there, that's a water manifold system. The water manifold system essentially allows you to dictate and control water and where it goes to different parts of the RV. What's nice about that is if you have a water leak or a water-related issue, you have the ability to turn off that specific valve so you don't have to shut water off to the whole unit. This also has a drop frame. So you have a 10-inch I-beam drop frame right here but you also have a steel structure up here. So this continues all the way back. Again, this is a very, very different frame than what you might typically see on like a Cedar Creek where the structure surrounds all of this and it's all structural to the entire RV. So in most RVs, you have an aluminum bath deck up here, which actually doesn't really play into the structure of the frame. This right here is surrounded by essentially a thick metal cage of boxed steel and I-beam just to give you a more rigid setup. Very, very nice. And I said, very custom to the Riverstone product. Nice rack and pinion system here, 12 inch I-beam. We'll come around to see if we can see the suspension. 
So this is gonna ride on three axles and they're gonna have the road armor suspension on it as well. Heavy duty half inch thick shackle straps, greasable wet bolts, have the Goodyear G114 tires with the automotive disc brakes on it. That's very nice. So this has disc brakes. It's not independent suspension. Doesn't really need to be independent suspension, honestly. It has the right setup for this application. Now, some people will take something like this and they'll go straight over to Moride and they'll put a full independent setup on it, but I don't really think you need to do that because the setup that's on here is a very robust setup. All right, so this is gonna have additional storage. Some really, really cool touches here. So you have this really nice little rack here that you can hang things on. You have this huge griddle, which is gonna slide out right here to the side. You're gonna be cooking at kind of an elevated level. So you might wanna put a step stool or something here if you're gonna be cooking, cause it is rather high. Over here, you got more storage. And look at that, they put that slat board all the way down the side. That right there is gonna access that same area. I can actually show you this baggage door to show you how thick they are. Super, super thick baggage doors. All LED lighting, has a Furion camera already installed and then you're gonna have even more storage back here. Again, super thick baggage doors, very heavy baggage doors. And then you have this giant tray. This tray is absolutely insane. And it gives you the ability to kind of load your RV up before you actually have to take off. So oftentimes when you're loading up a fifth wheel, you have to make you know multiple trips inside of the fifth wheel, then back out to your vehicle or back out to your home, then back inside. With something like this, you roll this out, you load up all of your clothes, all your bags, everything in the back, slide it into place and then when you get to where you're going and you you know you're starting to relax that's when you can unload this you can also fit bikes on here you can put e-bikes you can do all sorts of things we actually had an rv with a tray like this and we put like five bikes in the back and they weren't e-bikes they weren't folding and it was just a really really cool setup because again it just allowed us to carry toys with us that otherwise we wouldn't have been able to nice walk on roof you have your ladder right here this is going to be more storage Yep, you got more storage here. This side doesn't have the slats though. And then down here you have your power cord reel for your 50 amp cable. Slide out technology is kind of the under floor slide out system. Very, very good, very reliable. You have your wet bay right here. All your water control, plus a whole house blue water filtration system, 0.2 micron. Outside of your Truma AquaGo on-demand water heating system, as well as your side turn signals, which look really nice, or your side marker lights. Schwinn Tech up here. And then let's open up this storage, because this is just the other side of that basement storage. On strut arms, again, super thick doors. This is super cool. You got this little hatch down here for your hydraulics. Oh, actually, this is your brake controller. This is the actuator for your disc brakes from Dexter. Closer look at that water manifold system. 1500 watt go power inverter very very cool maybe batteries or another propane yep you got two battery trays here and you can fit four batteries in here if you want what do you guys think i really really like this again i'm a big fan of the product also the surround fury on camera is already installed slide top awnings on it as well but again what do you guys think big fan of these riverstone legacy products Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.